The community yeah. is the starting point and everything that follows is it comes from them. Humanity based, right? Yeah, it like, starts and ends with community. <laughs> <laughs> it does, it does, it really does. Alexa, thank you so much for joining us today. Could you tell us a little bit about Boxy Party and what it is exactly that you do? Uh, we have been boxing experiences, so putting together events and gatherings and dinner parties into a box um, and delivering them safely in one piece so that people can still celebrate without having to plan on their own. So you guys, you really came together in COVID, correct? It yes. And so how did you how did you think of the idea? I'm a professional event planner, so um, I was doing things on Zoom and virtually um, and came up with the idea to send physical packages to people that were participating on Zoom so that everyone was having the same thing. So, um, you know, birthday candles are one of the big things that we do for like Zoom integrations and um, a little bottle of champagne so that you're all invited to the same same event. You're all in different homes and you're all in different places, um, but you have the same thing um, to kind of unify people. And we kind of took that idea and expanded it a bit further and kind of thought, why just send the items for the Zoom guests? Um, why not send the items to the, ho to the hosts? with everything that they need. My birthday was in April, and so I, it was like right in the beginning, and we went home to go visit my family, but it, it's such a cool idea. I wish I would've known about it. That's the joy of it all, is just helping people connect, and yeah. we tell everyone, you know, our, what we thought was gonna be one of our first slogans was, your party does not have to be canceled. Your celebration does not have to be postponed. We're here to help. You started more on Zoom, and now you're doing it all inclusively, but you still do the Zoom. We do the Zoom, so a lot of the events that we produce on, on a larger scale, there's Zoom extensions. So if we're doing a house party for 10 in a box, um, sometimes we'll have 20 Zoom boxes that they'll send out uh, as well. So what has been the most interesting theme party that you've done so far? We got to do a wedding party in a box. So we put kind of an entire wedding celebration in a box, everything from, you know, the flowers, to the tablecloths, to the cards, to the seat for the bride and the groom. And that just felt really special to us because that's really what we want to do is, is allow people to keep having their weddings. And, and yeah, that was, that was special. So why do you believe that community is so important? Community is super important because we can't really do anything on our own. You know, we need our friends to rely on and we need our, our family as bouncing boards and um, it's, it's important to be with others and not feel alone, especially right now. Completely agree. It's so easy to feel isolated right now. Are there any habits that you've picked up during the quarantine that you feel have been a betterment for your life? I actually do have a pretty rigorous morning routine that started uh, in, in COVID that I like can't let go of, which is, it's great. I mean, it's like, you know, I wake up, I meditate, <laughs> then I make a coffee and then I journal and then whatever happens next can happen. But yeah, I do those things every morning. Well, I only have one more question. Okay. What are you grateful for today? I am grateful for the opportunity to work with my partner, Sophia Parsa, and we get to be creative together every single day. Um, and it's truly a privilege. We have our own little community between the two of us. And that's what I'm grateful for. Who's right here? Oh, go that's for it. it. Right. Okay, Sophia, did you want to just give us some background really quickly? I'd love to bring people together. And uh, what are my favorite, favorite things to do in life is just to design space and create space for people to gather. Um, and so, you know, when Alexa and I um, were doing this IRL with Mountain Gate, uh, where we were bringing entrepreneurs and creatives together for dinner and discussion, you know, at the moment that COVID hit and we realized we weren't going to be able to do that anymore, I'm just super grateful that the two of us were able to put our heads together and think about Boxy because it's given us an opportunity to continue to do what we love, although we don't get to see the reactions, just getting like heartfelt messages about how you know incredible someone's experience was and how like we've been able to create something special in a time that's kind of like uneasy and stressful and um, for people to not have to think about how do I design a table for eight and not have to hire like a super expensive event planner? How do I, you know, create exciting moments 
in my life at this time where it feels like we're stuck at home, but you know, you, we can sort of make you feel like you've escaped that environment with just delivering a box to your door that like creates a setting that's different from what you're used to. I, I've been to your Mountain Gate series. I love them and you do such an incredible job. And from the food to the decorations and the venue, it's gorgeous. So I'm really happy that you've been able to make a branch of this to keep continuing, you know, going on. Boxy has been really fun because we get to like really be creative and it's not like, um, it's no longer programming content. It's more like programming, programming um, like space, if that makes yeah. sense. And um, it's just been fun to be like, I have an idea, I have an idea. And like, how do we take all of our crazy ideas and, you know, consolidate them into one box? Not only did you start a business in the middle of the pandemic, but you actually brainchild a, a business completely based off the pandemic. How was that experience? When something like this happens in the world, you feel like you, there's nothing to lose anyway. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, when everyone's life is at risk, what what can you lose at this point, right? So it's just like, um, for us, you know, I don't think either of us are afraid of failure, which is great. Um, we're like, just like, let's try it. Let's throw something at the wall, see if it sticks. And if it falls, it's okay. We'll just do the next thing. It's inspiring. I'm a huge fan of just throw it at the wall. And if it falls, yeah. like, you know, and if like 10 people see it and it doesn't work, then oh, well, like, yeah. you know. <laughs> Why is community so important for you? And you're so talented at, at building a community. For me, my community is everything. And um, I believe that everything that we've been able to accomplish with Boxy or any of my other businesses, and Alexa, I'm sure can relate to this as well. It's all about who you meet, how you connect and where they send you and like what journey you go on together. So for me, it's like, Personally and professionally, my community is everything, and I don't think we would have any of the opportunities we have today without it. The community yeah. is the starting point, and everything that follows, is, it comes from them. Humanity-based, right? Yeah, it like, starts and ends with community. <laughs> <laughs> it does, it does, it really does. Um, if you could tell us a little bit about the one-on-one -on -one party consultation planning that you do, I would love to know about that. Yeah, so, um, you know, I feel like I'm an amateur in this space, but Alexa has been doing event production very professionally for years now. And so an interesting, actually, boxy opportunity that came about is like a bridal shower. So. Uh, there's it's a twofold component on one side We've got people who are zooming in and on the other side We have a very small socially distant gathering that we're designing as well So that's gonna be a really interesting boxy for us because it'll be the first time that we Bring both of those elements together where we get to sort of be a part of the experience and design the in-person um, Event and do the run of show with the guests um, but we'll also be delivering boxies to the guests that can't attend um, in order to cre create like a safe environment. So um, as far as like what we have to offer, we're kind of just like a one-stop shop for whatever event, what large or small, we just want to help you plan it. And if you have a small budget where you just want a box delivered to your door or a larger budget where you want a really, you know, fully thought out experience, even if it's just 10 people, we want to make it happen for, for you or whoever. I don't think we knew how much people wanted that detail. We thought that we could create broad strokes designs and you know ship them out and maybe there's a future in that for sure. But so far, everybody wants details. Everyone wants personality traits to show up. Everyone wants to celebrate a certain something in a certain specific way. So we take the time to do that. And it really is time consuming, but it's so rewarding. Yeah, and yeah. I think something we noticed was the smaller the event, the more important the details are. Right? So like, I think now, because we're celebrating in smaller groups, we really want to pay really close attention to detail. And it, it's hard, like, you know, we do this pretty regularly. I couldn't imagine if I, if I didn't love to throw events and bring people together and create tablescapes. Like, what, where do you even start? <laughs> how, you know, you have like things that you know this person that you're going to celebrate loves, but like, how do you bring that together in a way that's cohesive that the other guests will also enjoy? So it's been, it's been super interesting to see that as well. And from that, all of our boxes for intimate parties, everything from anniversaries, engagements to birthdays, we include question creative prompts. Um, and they're catered to exactly the people and exactly the experience. So there's always something to talk about. So everyone gets a card and a question and um, it allows for conversation to really happen and promote connection, which is, just, it can't just be the tablescape. There has to be some bonding that happens, and so we really try to promote that. 
And we write them by hand and, and we'll, we'll talk on the phone with you and we'll find out about your mom who you're celebrating and, and put that in there. Yeah, these like moments of like ice breaking. I mean, you think like, you know your friends and family and then we ask you a question that makes you really think twice about whether or not you know them well and like this creating, you know, it's, it's creating community, but even though it's your immediate community, that doesn't mean you can't get to know them more. So the intimacy. Yeah. 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 It's beautiful. Okay, so last question for you, Sophia. What are you grateful for today? I'm grateful for a lot. I'm grateful for the people who take a chance on us, right? Like, um, we're a small business that people haven't heard of yet. And of course, like Alexis is so talented. I think I'm talented together. Like we, you know, we have independent uh, qualities that people know about, but the fact that people take a chance, like folks who've never met us before, just stumble across Boxy and they're just willing to take the risk of like letting us design their experience without knowing much in advance. And you know, it's still, it's like a surprise box. You kind of don't really know what you're getting until it arrives. Sure, we show you a plan, but the final product is what you get at your door. And, and so I'm just really thankful for people who want to continue to celebrate and want uh, to allow us to help them with it. Of course, I'm thankful for Alexa and um, thankful for you. I'm thankful for everyone. <laughs> <laughs> well, ladies, I will let you go. Um, beautiful. I love what you're doing. I really think it's just such a brilliant idea. So thank you so much for being a part of the community. Thank you for being a part of this. And we're so grateful to have you. Thank, thank you for you. the support. No problem. I'll catch you later. <laughs>